Hey, what's guys? Camp and Rusher here. We now know a confirmed collab happening for season four. We've been talking about it for a while. Deadpool. We're going to start with that. And then we're talking about a massive Disney leak. And of course, Disney is part shareholder, part owner of Epic Games, the owners of Fortnite. So there's some Fortnite leaks and news within this big hack. And let me show you this Deadpool and Wolverine confirmation though. So Fortnite is featured in this new promotion video that was just posted today for the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. Wow, pick a lane, lady. This is okay. Okay, okay. Not this, this one. This is it. Okay, that's it. Okay. Oh, oh. Hey, uh, want to join? Uh, no, I'm married. <laughs> Good, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Enjoy the uh, right. The game. Actually, okay. that was kind of cold. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. See ya. Uh, he's not a winter. The powder blue, that's not going to work for him. <laughs> this movie comes out July 26th, July 25th, depending where you live. And the new season of Fortnite, season four, drops around August 16th. That's the date that is set right now, currently, for season four. So the timing's a little bit off, right? About a two-week gap there. But because of this promo video, it's basically confirmed something is happening here with a Fortnite promotion for the new movie. I mean, we really do think next season is more Marvel themed because of the official 2024 roadmap that was leaked by a rogue epic employee detailing next season is the Fantastic Four versus Doom the Marvel season 2.0 so it would just really fit for this movie to have at least one if not both Deadpool Wolverine remade versions of these skins in our battle pass next season so exciting news we figured this was happening but I think this basically confirms it now let's talk about the hack so it's it's sad news at first right a massive company getting breached it was an inside job i think regardless 1.1 terabytes worth of data including unreleased projects concept arts etc were leaked to the public and we knew we were going to get some Fortnite stuff. And there is some interesting stuff in here. Obviously, a lot of it is not connected to Fortnite at all. Disney is a massive company. As always with these hacking situations, yes, this is a company. But just a reminder, set up your two-step. Do everything you can to protect your data and change your passwords, right? When one of these companies gets hacked, if your password gets leaked there, you got the same password on another website, you're in some trouble. It's happened to me before. It's not a great feeling. But some of the Fortnite stuff that was leaked... Family Guy times Fortnite. We learned a lot about this collab. It's already happened, I know, but there's a couple scrapped cosmetics here. They never came out, and I don't know why they did it. We got normal Peter instead of buff Peter, and then, I don't know, night vision Peters there as well. I think these look great. I wish we got to see them in game, and then the chicken... Uh, another version of him that never came to fruition. There was a couple scrapped pickaxes in here as well. So cool to see some of the concept stage stuff that never makes it to the game. We don't really know why, but obviously they have big debates and meetings and discussion as they're talking about all this. There was also supposed to be a cardboard cutout of Peter for the glider at first instead of the Peter Copter glider. This is a fan-made version of this like it's official this was supposed to happen but uh what you're seeing there is fan made just to give us a visual so another thing that was scrapped i mean i love the peter copter so i think it worked out all right and also there was a couple slideshow pages that gave us an insight on how epic evaluates how well these collabs do and one of the things they look at is what's the press reaction what's the community reaction and they take actual quotes and then they summarize like was it positive was it factual how did the the news and the community interpret pieces of the collaboration what did they like like they really pointed out how much we responded as a community to the you know hurt knee emote when we eliminated the peter griffin boss like they realized that was such a win like that little detail really stuck out to the community so i mean not really leaks or anything with this part just interesting how they look at the success or not of you know one of these big collabs also early versions of the chapter 5 season 1 battle pass lineup so concept stage of what i think was one of the best battle passes i really do like all of our battle passes this chapter i think they've hit it out of the park with every single one and in different ways and then finally fortnite times die hard which is possibly scrapped at this point but you can see it here in the background and concept stage 
Hopefully it's still upcoming. Does you know, it doesn't mean it's scrapped for sure. It was a plan at some point. It may still be happening. So that is our Disney hacked news. You wish we saw a couple more of these things in the Family Guy collab specifically. I'll let you know if we get anything else. Subscribe, turn your notice on, but that seems to be the majority of it at this point. Okay, Pirates of the Caribbean. Epic Games is officially back from their break. And the collab, Pirates of the Caribbean collab, is set to launch this Friday, July 19th. Now, I'm just wondering if we're going to have the, the big major update, the downtime update on the night before, right? The Thursday night. I think that's what's going to happen. I was waiting to see if we'd get a random announcement for an update tonight, but that hasn't happened. So prepare Thursday night, staying up late. I'll be on making videos so we will have everything covered as soon as it drops. The official name of the mid-season event is Cursed Sales, as Epic posted a, a official teaser photo for the event today. And we've also seen this, right? The treasure map teaser that Fortnite socials have been posting. We are going to get the return of the Flint Knock, the cannons. And then there's going to be the treasure map. And also there's this new mythic ship in a bottle. And it's a pretty crazy looking mythic. We've showed it off here a couple times on the channel. It lasts for one minute. It does player damage, big damage to builds, and about 150 damage to vehicles. And it does ongoing damage every single impact slash hit. And we think it can be damaged and taken out, but we're not for sure. This thing's going to be fun. It's going to be weird to go against. And then there's also going to be some map changes. I'll show you a brief video in the background as we keep talking here. Again, you're a fan of the channel. You've seen this already, but it's looking to be a massive event. Multiple skins, an event pass, right? Of course, we're getting Jack Sparrow. It's going to be big. I cannot wait. Scott Pilgrim creator Brian Lee O'Malley on a potential Fortnite collab. He said, I've never played Fortnite, but I told Universal that if they want to put Scott Pilgrim in the game, they should go for it. So good news. It could happen anytime the creator of the brand is on board, separate from Fortnite, you know, and it's a big enough brand, Fortnite's probably going to do it because why wouldn't they? It's a win-win. So hopefully we see confirmation on this happening soon. And then finally, you can now obtain a free, kind of free, Wastelands Revenge Glider. And you can do this when you redeem a V-Bucks gift card between now and August 11th. So just under a month to do this. This includes a bunch of different countries, United States, Canada, the list goes on. Uh, a lot of EU countries in there as well. It's basically any country that V-Bucks cards are sold in. So there's not really a region lock here. So yeah, if you got one, you might as well go get your free glider on top of it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Subscribe, touch that like button, take care. Talk soon, Code the camp in Russia. Goodbye.